And if you didn't recognize that tune, that's the uh, music behind Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Welcome. Glad you uh, are in the room. So uh, I hope that you're warm and cozy wherever you are, and I, and I uh, am here to share some information with you. I want to share information today. Uh, uh, one of the topics will be airbags and the fact that uh, people that are in the service business, uh, the collision repair business, that would be a body shop. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, uh, the difference, there are collision centers or shops uh, and uh, repair shops, and those are two totally different animals. Uh, in fact, if if you uh, if you have any friends that are in the repair shop, uh, <clears throat> ask them, <clears throat> you know, for their information or their help. Uh, if you should have a fender bender or something, and you're going to find that. Uh, they're going to have a special uh, friend or a, fr a special shop in their area that specializes in, in body shop repair. Uh, ironically, I've always, and I, and I have a very dear friend who I've known for 30 years that uh, does the best job uh, that I know of, mm -hmm. of any service shop uh, in, in the collision repair. And he runs a tip-top place. Uh, his his building is a couple of blocks uh, in size as far as uh, the uh, added on here, a paint booth and those sorts of things. And it's just amazing to me that not only do they have to replace fenders and front clips and bumpers and stretch out the crumple zones, but they also have to be mechanically uh, uh, astute because they have to, for instance, recharge air conditioning. I mean, on the front, front end collision is going to damage the air conditioning system, so you got to know how to recharge and check for leaks. you got to know how to uh, fix power steering pumps and what have you. So there's a lot of crossover, whereas in the automotive service business, quote, repair, unquote, uh, those uh, uh, th that business, which is what we're in for many, many years, and this studio is uh, is, is inside Car Clinic Service, which is a 15,000 square foot automotive service shop. We don't get involved with uh, with uh, dented fenders, and I can tell you, we don't want to get involved with dented fenders. So I think that's kind of interesting. But the airbag, it's about uh, an, an issue of uh, Reader's Digest. I see we have a hand up, and uh, Bill, what I'd like for you today. Uh, is to uh, give me some uh, input, and, and Bill uh, Collins is our uh, a producer of the program, uh, and uh, the one that controls your mic and mine. And uh, uh, I just love it to be here on Pal Talk and and Titan FM Radio and and uh, World uh, Internet Radio W I R N Radio Dynamite, uh, Bob Radio and Force Radio, and of course on our Saturday National Program that I've hosted. This will be our 18th year. Uh, we have some 110 affiliates, Sirius Satellite Radio, uh, stream this program live for both hours, and that's every Saturday from 10 till noon. Today, uh, this program is, uh, I give uh, three hours in this one hour because we have uh, Cynthia. And by, by the way, her, her nickname uh, is is Shaniqua. She, does, she doesn't necessarily like it. I don't know where I came up with that name, but uh, uh, she, she's really cool, and uh, she's a very uh, smart very smart, uh, astute uh, lady, uh, Jim. Uh, uh, Jim uh, Bill, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, oh, I've hurt his feelings now. Damn, we wear our, our feelings on our shoulder, don't we? Uh, Bill Collins uh, is the smartest producer, director, uh, uh, technical person that I, I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And I say that. Uh, with him listening in and me looking, I can look it straight to him in the control room, but he's just really, really great. So having said that, uh, you hold your palm up, continue to hold it up, and when we give you the mic, uh, you certainly will uh, take it uh, over, and, and uh, I'll be glad to do the best that I can to answer your questions, and uh, we'll allow everyone else a uh, time as well. Uh, so we'll kick off the program uh, with one more little, uh, and I love this, this is the smart car. That is the neatest thing, and that's the little smart car, and I've got one of those ordered, and I can tell you about that as well. So we will uh, share the, the mic now, uh, and y you're on. Welcome to the program. Glad to have everyone join me here on Pal Talk, Bobby Likas Car Clinic. So, Bill. So when it's your time and you're, you've got your hand up and you've got the mic, please feel free to uh, to jump right in there. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the microphone. 
You're welcome very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you all. Hey, <laughs> it's not a cloud in the sky. It is cool as I <laughs> go. I hear you. I thought it was I, I love it. <laughs> On a day not today. Okay. We're yeah, done there. Well, you know, I, I tell you, I, I love it that you're ha that you're happy. I wish you had a car question or, or a car statement, but congratulations! I love it uh, to, for for happy people, uh, and and it really is great. It's better than preaching doom and gloom. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we'll take a uh, we'll let another uh, uh, hand up. I see we got JD. Uh, so Bill, let's let, let's give JD the mic there, and and JD, welcome. Glad to have you with us here on Bobby Likas Car Clinic. There we go. Hi, Bob. Um, <clears throat> what what I wanted. I'm sorry. Hi. I didn't get the mic working there right away. Um, what I wanted to ask is, I'm looking at buying okay. a uh, family truck for a family of five. Um, one of the four-door trucks. Do you have any recommendations? I'm looking at the F-150s and the Nissans and uh, Toyotas and the different ones. Do you have any one that you would prefer that you would say would be the uh, uh, money? Uh, fam a family truck. Now, and when you say truck, uh, that means that you, you want a, a large interior, but you also have to have an open bed truck. I'd prefer it, yeah. Is that, is that is that your goal? Yeah, but not something big like an F-350 Ford, but uh, the, like the a Nissan Frontier or something, you know. Well, well, see, well, but the challenge the challenge with with those vehicles is that they are usually underpowered. So if you're looking at the versatility of a family automobile, and then the the, the uh, load hauling uh, uh, of a truck, uh, that the, then you're really that's kind of it's a hard nut to fill. And, and to do it properly because it's going to be a compromise. If you get a, if you don't want a big truck, so that means you don't want like a crew cab, and I can't blame you there. Oh heaven forbid, uh, that's a gas hog. But uh, I, I I don't know. Would you would you consider would you consider a van? And I, the reason I share that with you, I'm not trying to change your mind, but I bought a '97 Town and Country, and then I replaced it with a 2001 Town and Country, and it has you can take the back seats out. Uh, the back seat and the two seats out, and there's room for a four by eight sheet of plywood. That's how much floor space there is, and it has the automatic doors where you open it up, and you can buy those used uh, for uh, a, a probably you probably could save. Let's say if your your budget was twenty thousand.